Hello, hello, welcome back. So after a while recording a new video here, as I mentioned in the past few videos, I'm out on a vacation, so my internet is not the best around here, but it's still viable. So I thought I should be making a few videos, especially since we have some companies moving forward and some interesting news to talk about. So Shopify is going to be my first one, which is a company for which I haven't talked uh, since a while now, and it's a, an extremely interesting company. Now, taking it back five years, and this is a nice thing to see for potential investors who are looking to, or I should say traders, who are looking to trade the company and uh, basically try to trade on the currently lower value, currently lower stock price that the company has been seeing since more than a year now. You can see that the one year high has been about 71 and right now we're sitting at 60. Well, the all time high was uh, nearing $180 over here, for instance. And so it's a company that uh, has been climbing for a while now and then it crashed and the reason why the company crashed has a lot to do with the financials as well as the overall market of course but um, in this video we're going to talk about it in a little bit more detail so that you understand why what caused the crash and whether it's a buy right now now yesterday uh, or i should say uh, pre-market the stock was up um, eight percent uh, is up eight percent right now uh, as we're expecting the market to open in about an hour as I'm making this video today. The reason for this, and um, uh, we can obviously examine it uh, using our stock news page here in our myinvestorsheaven.com tool, for which all our patrons have access, and if you're interested you can find a link in the description box below this video. You will see that Shopify stock jumps on Amazon Buy With Prime collaboration, and so I wanted to talk about this a little bit. Now here you can kind of see on stock tweets that uh, today, that's yesterday basically, the stock was up to 2% and then 8.3 pre-market is what we're seeing right now. Now, Shopify stock jumps on Amazon Buy With Prime collaboration. And so what will happen here is that uh, Amazon will be releasing an app on its own app ecosystem that will give uh, US-based merchants who use Amazon's fulfillment network the option to add Buy With Prime on uh, Shopify's checkout uh, processed by Shopify payments. As you can understand, this uh, will potentially mean that the company will be making more money in the future and obviously investors love that. And this is why the stock actually rose quite significantly and right now we're looking at an about 9% gain today, it looks like. We'll see what happens when the market opens, but that's what we're seeing right now. Now, Shopify is interesting. The previous quarter had a really nice quarter in regards to their revenue so the revenue was up and this is basically a, a full-blown uh, breakdown here and their outlook um, seems to be pretty uh, pretty good as well so forward-looking information within the meaning of uh, applicable securities laws and all that and uh, they expect uh, will create a revenue growth headwind of approximately 300 to 400 basis points and a gross margin tailwind of approximately 300 to 400 basis points when compared to the third quarter of 2022 so impacted by the sale of our of our logistics businesses here so interesting to see but revenue to grow at uh, at a low 20s percentage rate on a year over year basis which translates into a year over year growth rate in the mid 20s is what we're looking at like 25 percent about very very nice as well for the third quarter too pretty significant increase and um, gross margin approximately two to three percent of points points higher than the second quarter so generally speaking as you'll see even the operating expense uh, is about to be flat um, to up slightly looking pretty nice and um, company expenditures as well approximately 45 million for the full year inclusive of 33 million in the first half of the year related to logistics now of course you expect the company to be uh, exp to be uh, expense uh, expensive expensing more over the years as they keep growing uh, with um, revenue and uh, net income very normal as well and also free cash flow profitability for the third quarter to be greater than the entire first half of 2023 which is lovely to see so pretty nice things here projected for Shopify we'll see whether they will actually happen but um, the outlook looks uh, pretty interesting the problem with um, Shopify has always been about uh, their price and uh, right now it's, it's basically sitting at a relatively low price even though some time ago it was um, even approaching 50 and you could be wondering how do we see a company that uh, used to be like 180 and uh, all of a sudden goes down to 50 that fast why is this happening and the way to understand that is by examining the financials of the company like for instance here the p ratio has been climbing up and down so the company has been uh, making money has been losing money some quarters making some quarters losing and the same thing with the price to free cash flow 
same thing, sort of like making, losing. It has been impacted by what was happening during the pandemic years too. So pretty understandable as well. And also, because the stock price of the company was pretty high, they kept um, releasing, they kept making, uh, issuing new shares, new outstanding shares, uh, basically in increasing the amount that is uh, uh, that can be traded in the open market, uh, diluting the current shareholders. And this is something that you hate to see. And this is one of the things that is uh, good for uh, investors who buy at low prices. Because when the prices are low, the company, companies like the board typically don't really uh, issue more shares because it's, uh, uh, it's not very advantageous like, uh, to be selling the stock at low prices. This is the time to buy shares. And so, uh, as you can see, the steepness in this curve kind of flattens out. And eventually, I think we're going to be seeing this uh, flatten even more in the future. Even though even now, the stock price may be a little bit expensive as well, even now, even sitting at uh, about uh, 65 as the pre-market is uh, right now. And the company has been uh, having fantastic revenue growth is a nice thing to see about it. Um, uh, and again, the problem has been the fact that they have been uh, losing money, making money. They have been all over the place. You can kind of see here in their income statements. The revenues have been tremendous and the company has been um, increasing the revenues uh, year over year. I, and so doing fantastic, like a 50%, 60% high growth company and the market loves that. However, when you take it uh, down, uh, you will see that the net income of the company has been struggling. So losing money, making money all over the place. And um, when this happens, it could be an interesting case of a buy. But when the, you see that, you definitely want to be buying at cheap prices, you, as cheap as possible, frankly. frankly. And uh, the balance sheet of the company kind of shows you here um, a similar story of the company's uh, total equity kind of going up uh, and then down a little bit. Remember, the company has been issu issuing shares as well. They, you know, they have been losing money too. And so this is understandable uh, to, to be seeing this fluctuate that much. Now, the cash flow is supposed to be doing better in the next few years. But again, similar story. It's a company that has been uh, balancing uh, through profitability, like balancing profit and loss, pretty much, is what you're seeing here for the company. And so now, it's uh, always very, very useful to see what our stock evaluator module, module will tell us. Because um, it can actually mathematically tell us whether it makes sense to be buying the company based on what they have been doing in regards to their net income and um, the profitability, the overall profitability, and what we expect for the next few years. Now, since the company is growing at a, at a lovely pace, I'm going to go high just for the sake of it. I'm going to go really high, like 20, 22 and 24%, which is very, very high for five consecutive years. Yet the company is uh, still not making a tremendous amount of um, revenue. And I think it's uh, viable to, for them to be, um, to be getting this type, this type of uh, revenue growth, especially for the next five years and especially coming out of um, you know, the, the years where you know, things were kind of slowed down in the past couple of years. And so the net income margin is going to be a little bit of a challenge here because it has been going up and down a lot, again, understandably so. So I'm going to go somewhere around 10% here. I think this is uh, more normal and probably low, frankly. So I will uh, be trying a few different scenarios uh, because, um, again, remember, this is sort of like a software-based company. And so their margins could eventually uh, climb uh, much, much higher than what they are right now. Yet I don't want to go uh, you know, uh, full-blown into what the company could uh, achieve in the next, uh, let's say, seven years because this could be happening. This could happen in uh, like uh, four years from now or maybe not even then. And so I will try a few different cases, uh, likewise, like 10%, 15%, let's go 18%, pretty significant difference. And because of that difference, I'm going to be using 100% for the free cash flow margin, basically converting all the net income to free cash flow is what I'm saying here. And uh, I'm, I'm trying this because there's a lot of variation already here, so I want to have this sort of like steady. And an annual return of 13%, obviously. All our users of the tool, all our patrons have access to the tool and can try all their numbers here just to see what they get. And with this, uh, we'll hit the calculation. So we'll see something that I would expect, uh, the fact that um, the price to pay, with, even with these projections, is significantly lower. And so even, even after the stock has fallen off a cliff, it's still relatively expensive. It's actually pretty expensive uh, based on its current price. Now, that doesn't mean that the stock will uh, go down necessarily because uh, remember the market is all about uh, uh, the market is all about uh, demand and supply. And so regardless of what the economics of the company are, in some situations there could be a, a very um, happy sentiment and people could uh, flock around the stock and basically keep buying it for no reason. But the thing is, 
as investors who are, who are actually as investors who try to be solid and uh, not take uh, tremendous risks we always like to be buying as cheap as possible so it's uh, cheaper than what it used to be no no doubt about this one but it's still relatively expensive to potential other um, market options right now other stocks that we, we could be buying and potentially buying them at cheaper prices so this is what's going on and this is how the tool can actually really really help us understand whether this is a buy and how far we are from the current price so frankly for me I, I would be willing potentially to pay a little bit more but this is a risky proposition for sure you may want to be paying a little bit more because of the brand pretty much Shopify being a, a, a very very well known household name but you really really won't, don't want to overdo it because remember people who bought when it was like 180 were at a similar spot to today the only thing that changed is uh, basically the couple of years where the, the economy was kind of struggling and then they lost like 80 percent so uh, this could he keep happening especially when the company is not making as much money to justify the stock price which should be frankly maybe at around 30 bucks so it's again significantly expensive so it pays to know exactly what uh, it makes sense to be buying it at and then you can decide on your own whether you want to be uh, risking it and uh, pay significantly more if it's worth it or not in my eyes in my view probably not probably not worth it just because there are potentially more interesting cases i do love the growth i do love that the company has a lot of future potentially i hate it but frankly i would potentially want to get it at an even cheaper price which may never come but again it may not be the best uh, choice for me thanks for watching um, and i hope you are having again a fantastic uh, summer guys i will be making a few videos again i don't have all my supplies here all my equipment i should say so these videos are going to be sort of like the old style hope you enjoyed them as well and i'll see you in the next one bye bye for now